for a legacy kill because that whoa shit 62 hp <sighs> oh my goodness that could have been pretty bad go finish the job there we go there's a legacy oh kill time uh i can't oh yeah, i can give you a kill time four minutes that's not too bad actually like for for a legacy kill with tier 80s as well like i'm sure i could do like a 220 230 kill with like a noxious scythe maybe uh oh my god oh my god are you serious <laughs> How's it going guys, it's Ryan here, and welcome to probably like the middle part of episode number 4 of the Road to the Queen Black Dragon Link. I just made some absolutely mental gear upgrades, I spent about 110 mil, uh, but check this out. Uh, we now are going to be using full Torva uh, with the Razorback Gauntlets. Uh, full Torva, which was about 80 something mil, something like that uh, for the whole set, I can't click properly. Uh, full Torva. Uh, just because an extra 10% DPS makes a massive difference, and I want some faster kills. I figured if I'm going to be there for a while, it's worth investing. Uh, now, if you're wondering why I'm not using Malevolent, uh, that's another <laughs> pretty good question. Uh, I'm actually not using Malevolent because the repair costs are just too high. It costs over a mil per hour uh, to use at the Queen Black Dragon because it lasts for an amount of hits, and the Grot Worms are hitting you constantly at QBD. Uh, so for that reason, yeah, we're not going with the Brawlers. Uh, sorry, we're not going with the, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, Malevolent. Uh, and the other big thing I did is I just dropped 100,000 Dungeoneering Tokens and 25 mil uh, to get myself a Brawler's Blood Necklace because this thing is absolutely amazing. 4.4 Strength Bonus as well as basically a Blood Siphony Healy thing uh, that's going to be great at the Queen Black Dragon as well as Calphite King and some other places. Uh, now, I know that the effect doesn't actually work on the QBD, but it works on all the Grot Worms as well as the Tortured Soul, so it basically kills them for you uh, while healing you, so it makes a massive difference. Very helpful there. Uh, so yeah, I'm super excited to go kill some Queen Black Dragon. Alright guys, it is time to figure out uh, if all this gear, 105, 110 mil worth of gear, is actually going to make a difference. I'm, I'm hoping it does. It should make a very significant difference, but I guess... We will, we will very soon find out. I guess I could have gone with a Steel Titan. Uh, but yeah, I guess we'll, we'll see what the hits are like, and we will hope that they are good, because <laughs> if not, that's a lot of money down the drain. But really, the 10% extra damage, at least 10%, should make a fairly significant difference. Here we go. Let's degrade all the Torva on the first hit, get all the chat messages. There we go. We have been degraded. Uh, so yeah, let's see how this goes. Let's just you know, go ham a little bit. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm not expecting like a, a personal best fastest QBD kill ever first try But I'd, I'd like to see some some decent hits kind of like that 4.1k. That was a nice little hit um, And I also want to see the blood necklace in action as well uh, Saving me some heals although that'll only start working once grot worms start coming So for the moment, I guess the blood necklace is useless, but it won't be eventually uh, And also let's filter the game sake of having not spam everywhere kaboom kablammy 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 there you go face you down i don't know it that's that's kind of that's relatively fast but it's not like blowing my mind fast so far um but you know no food used that's always good too um and dark great just great there's the blood necklace healing me 500 hit points right there Get some more grot worms out. Oh, that's gonna hit me. Yep. How did I know? And for the last phase, oh souls. Whatever. I'm tanking that. That last phase was good anyway. Very good. Yeah, that kill was pretty fast for uh, for the QBD changing colors like that. Um, but yeah, well, I'm gonna try it out one more time just. For the sake of appropriate data or whatever, whatever you want to say. Oh my god! <laughs> no fucking way! Is that back to. I think that's back to back. Yeah. I, that's back to back. Dragon kite shields. Holy mother of god! My luck continued, so I did a stream last night where I got 10 drops in one stream, and then I ended the stream because, okay, we can't top anything anymore, that's ridiculous, and we ended it off with a dragon kite shield, and I'm pretty sure that's a back-to-back.
Oh, and a Royal Torsion Spring. Holy shit, that's a kill that I gotta keep. Wow, we. Oh, look at that, guys. Visage number one. Everyone in the last episode was like, what the hell? Why don't you have any visages by this point? Well, now we have one. It, I, I totally agree. It had been a really, really long ass time. Look at that 1.3 mil. That's actually an amazing drop. And how's it going, guys? It's Ryan here, and welcome to the price check at the end of episode four of the Road to Queen Black Dragonling. Boom! Check out this tab. Oh my goodness. These last two episodes have been absolutely freaking mental uh, in terms of drops. I mean, the first episode I had, I think, two specific drops. Second episode, I don't think I had a single specific drop. And in the last two episodes, we've had like 12, 13, 14, whatever it is. It's been absolutely insane. As you can see, 1600 dragon bones. What does that mean? That means exactly 200 kills right on the button. Uh, so we're gonna add, actually, you know what I should do? One second. Sorry about that, we're back. Uh, that way Mike can do the coin pouch thing and it'll work. Uh, but as you can see this episode, we got the first visage. Um, I think we got both dragon kite shields as well, which is pretty ridiculous. I'm pretty sure we got both of them in this one. Uh, one of them might have been the tail end of the last one. Either way, let's grab everything and then hop into the price checker. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, here's everything. Let's open up the price checker and check some prices. Um, 46.4 mil. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm making bank in this series. This is amazing. Uh, obviously, the visage is, is <laughs> quite nice. Same with the D-Kites. It's always a nice drop. Better than usual loot. Uh, but, I mean, it's really adding up now. 4.3 mil just from these guys. I'm not going to go through absolutely everything. Uh, something crazy I noticed is we're still missing a royal <laughs> a royal piece. Uh, I can't remember which one it is, but uh, there's a royal piece that we haven't got a single one of yet. Um, after getting 14 different royal pieces. I think with a 1 in 4 chance you'd have one of the other ones, but maybe in the next episode, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, everything's adding up real nice in the tab, except the Land of Dime Seeds, because that's just rip right there. Uh, but yeah, absolute mass gains going on, um, especially the 4.1 mil cash. I gotta say, if I do, if I uh, can continue playing on my Iron Man, and if I get members on my Iron Man, 100% I'm gonna camp QBD, because I mean, you get, you get GP cash, you get cash money, there's 99 prayer, 99 crafting, all the PVM food you need, uh, with the rock tails, 99 smithing, 99 herb lore, probably not 99 farming, but I mean, we've got 8 magic seeds in there. And then you've got 99 range, 99 defense, 99 constitution. Um, so it's just gains, and these things alk for like 500k or whatever it is. 99 fire making. Uh, you can do so much with QBD. Uh, so yeah, anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Have a good one, and peace out.